the differential. The differential is used to estimate the change in a function when the independent variable changes a specified amount. Example, find the change in the area of a circle when the radius changes from 5 to 4.9 inches. Well, the first thing we have to do is collect the information. And here's the information we need to estimate the change in the area using the differential. We first need a function, and the function is either given in the problem or implied. In this case, it's implied. They talk about the area of the circle, and we know the area of a circle. a equals pi r squared, where a is the dependent variable, the variable we're trying to estimate the change of, and then we have the independent variable r. We're also given a starting point here. That is, we say that the radius starts at 5, and then it changes to some other value. So our starting point for r is 5, and we'll label that as a. Then we have the change in r. How much is r changing? Well, r is changing, delta r as we call it, uh, a negative one-tenth of an inch. Okay. And then finally we need uh, the derivative of our function, area function, dA dr, so we know the rate of change. And that's fairly easy to do. Pi r squared, derivative of that with respect to r is 2 pi r. And lastly, we need the definition of the differential. And here it is. We say that the change in the area, delta A, is approximately dA, the differential of A. And the differential of A is the derivative of A with respect to R, which is the area's rate of change, evaluated at the starting point A times the change in R, delta R. And if you look here, um, we've, we've already essentially done the problem because all you have to do is plug in the various elements. We know this, we know A, we know the change in R, and here I've plugged them all in for you okay, and evaluated it. So my change in my area, or delta, area, delta A, is approximately the differential of A, which equals 2 pi R evaluated at R equals 5. That's our starting point, right? Uh, times the change in R, negative uh, one-tenth of an inch. And this, of course, if you, you can see, equals 10 pi times negative 0.1, and it, that finally equals negative pi square inches, or about negative 3.14 inches. So <clears throat> when the radius changes shrinks uh, one-tenth of an inch, your area of your circle is going to shrink uh, about uh, negative 3.14 square inches.